Hi, this video is going to help you to order fractions, decimals and percentages. This is quite a common question in your GCSE exams. Um, and basically, what you need to do for every question like this is try to put the numbers into the same format. So you could choose either a decimal or a fraction or a percentage. And what we want to do is just make them all into the same format. Now, I think that the easiest one to compare them with is the percentages because it will be obvious which is the biggest and which is the smallest. Um, so basically what you need to know is how to convert a decimal and a fraction into a percentage. Okay. For this example here, the 25% is already a percentage so we'll leave that as it is. What we need to know is how to turn a decimal into a percentage uh, and that's fairly straightforward. You're just going to times by 100. Now, um, with a calculator, that's no problem. Without a calculator, you need to remember that you're moving the digits, really, two places to the left. So this number here, which is the 3, uh, goes into the units column and then into the tens column. So that becomes a 30. And the 9 is going to move from here, which is the hundredths, to the tenths and then the units. So we end up with 39%. Um, in order to get the percentage from a fraction, there are two sort of ways that you can think about it. You can try to uh, build up your fraction by doubling the numbers, maybe, and then timesing by 10. Once you've got it out of 100, that's the key, because a percentage is just a number out of 100. Another way you can do it is simply by dividing. 2 divided by 5 will give you 0 0.4. Let's write that down here. 2 divided by 5 is 0 0.4. And then times your answer by 100 to give you 40%. OK, so there are a couple of ways that you can do that one. Now what you need to do is decide which is the smallest and which is the biggest. The smallest here is obviously the 25%, so we're going to write that one down. Um, let's imagine that the question asked us to go smallest to biggest. OK, I'll assume that each time, but obviously you have to read the question very carefully as you set it. The smallest here is 25%. The next one is the 39%, which I'm going to write back in its original format. And the biggest one was this 40%, which again, in its original format, is 2 fifths. So there we go. We have ordered those three fractions, decimals and percentages. It's important to show your working, it's important to show how you converted them all into percentages just so that you can really get those method marks. Here's another example. Um, this one might be a little bit more trickier for some people because um, of the 8 ninths. The percentage is already in the right format. The 0 0.7, again you times by 100. Some people would be tempted to put 7% here, but just track that 7. Where does it go? Two places to the left, so it goes into the units, and then the tens. So that 7 should now be in the tens column, indicating that it is 70%. And last of all, we've got 8 ninths. Now, this one is tricky. People don't tend to remember their ninths, but actually ninths are really fairly straightforward. OK. Uh, if you remember them, it, it becomes quite easy. Um, one ninth, if you do it on a calculator, one divided by nine will give you 0 0.11111 recurring, uh, which I'm going to call 11.1 recurring. And I'll put the dot above the one to indicate that it's recurring. So all I'm doing now is I'm thinking, right, if I've got eight of those, that's going to be 0 0.888, etc., which is 88.8. OK, and that 8 is recurring as well. So what we have here is 88.8 .8 recurring percent, um, and that's going to be that one. OK, uh, alternatively, if you've got this on a calculator paper, you can simply do 8 divided by 9 to get your decimal, and then times by 100. OK, so let's have a look again, smallest to biggest. The smallest number here is the 70%, which, if I write in its original format, was a 0 0.7. The next biggest number is the 85%. And then the largest number was this 8 ninths. OK. And it really is that easy.